What's going on guys and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete the three disruption optional prep missions for the new heist. Now I'm sure a lot of people have probably already done these solo but I want to show you that they are pretty easy to do solo so if you're worried about doing them or you don't want to do them I recommend doing them because they make the heist so much easier. So we're going to be starting out with the weapons mission. Coming up on the first target here guys, the first thing you're going to notice is you cannot lock on to any of them. And this is actually how all of them are, so if you guys are trying to use a heli or some type of air vehicle, be careful because they will light you up, okay? So you guys want to come on and just take them out carefully and or RPG them, whatever you feel like doing. That's what I recommend doing personally. It's honestly your best bet, that simple. And you're going to want to just be careful here. One of the enemies actually have ballistic armor on one of the spots I've noticed. Again, you can hit them with missiles if you're good at free aiming, but be careful because the armored juggernaut guys from Dollar Tree will absolutely murder you. Do not let them. It might even be easier, guys, just to RPG these dudes. There's really no reason trying to fight them with a missile like I am right now. As you can see, it doesn't work that well. Again, but you can take them out as you can see there. Coming up on weapon arms dealer number three here, guys, you're going to notice that... I die when I get to enemies. What I wanted to say, guys, before that terrible, unfortunate incident just happened is the last guy is normally on a truck and he actually dies pretty easily. You guys want to light him up a little bit? He has some health, but not nearly as hard to kill as some of the other guys are. Again, you could just shoot rockets at him if you want. He's a little armored. And he was eliminated. That easy, guys. He didn't take too many bullets and he is dead. And that is your first disruption mission completed. Now we're going to take a look at armor. Once again, guys, when you pull up to the area here for the distribution center, you'll notice that you cannot lock onto any of the enemies. Now, what you want to do is just free, free fire some missiles in there like I am here. You can get lit up a little bit, so be careful. As you can basically take them all out pretty easily. Just like that. And if you miss one there, you can just... Again, shoot a missile at it, just like that. And once you destroy them all, you're then going to have to go inside. Once you guys get inside, you're going to notice there's a good amount of enemies in here. Again, you can take these guys out pretty easily here. Really no issues. Pull out a grenade. Throw them next to each one. You could also use an RPG, which I have in the past. Works also very well on this. If you're like me when you throw grenades, you completely miss your target. Oh, I actually hit it. You come on over here and do the same thing again. Throw grenades in the back, right by where they are here, just like that. Very simple, guys. And if you miss them like I do, you just then do it like, oh! Anyway, guys, once you don't do what I just did, throw the grenades here. Hit the last one over there on that one, and you're good to go. Coming up to the last enemy here, guys, you will see that it is always going to be a tugboat. I recommend just using the sparrow if you have it, or a buzzer does the job as well. One rocket right to the boat, destroys it instantly, and there you go. Mission completed. Now on to the last one, guys, air support. I basically save, well, the best slash worst for last here. This one can definitely be the most annoying, and I highly recommend using a Hydra if you have it. Um, you might be able to complete it in the sparrow or the buzzard. The sparrow is actually faster than the buzzard is, I believe, because I was testing them out a little bit and I could definitely see that. But to do this one, I recommend using a Hydra. Coming over to the first part of enemies here, guys, you're going to see that normally there is three buzzards when they're in the water locations. So I recommend going to these first, then again, you go to any of them. As you guys can see with the buzzard, this is super easy. You can pretty much use any fast aircraft for this, but for me, I personally love using the Hydra. Coming up to the second area of enemies here guys I also want to let you know that once you destroy the first no matter which one you destroy first there will be helicopters that will spawn behind you for some reason they weren't showing up on my map there 
but you can easily see them. You can also lock onto the enemies here, which makes this very easy. Okay, guys, you will see now that there's actually only two buzzards on the ground, so the water will always have three, and the ground will always have two. Keep that in mind. Coming up on the fourth and final part of the enemies here, guys. Again, you're going to want to be a little careful over here. These guys, if you shoot any of the enemies by the military base, they will kill you, so be careful who you lock onto there, and that's simply beat it like that. Thank you so much for watching.